I changed my self-concept and my beliefs about myself in a few short months. And this is why I'm always preaching that if it takes a long time and if it feels like hard work to change your self-concept, then you just have the wrong approach. There's a lot of bad advice in the online space and there are a lot of ineffective ways for changing, changing your beliefs. No, I did not listen to sleep tapes at night. No, I did not repeat any fucking affirmation in front of the mirror. And no, I did not journal any I am statements. I am lovable. I am good enough. Fuck that shit. If you want to know how to actually change your beliefs in a short period of time, you have to go and watch part one. This is part two. And this is where I'm going to answer how do you know when you have changed your beliefs? I have a lot of personal examples of this from my life, but I'm just going to give you two examples here because I know that the attention span in the online space is fucking short. And so that's why I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. If you're still here listening to me and you want longer videos, please just comment here so that I know. Now, it depends on what belief you're changing, but often after changing your beliefs, you're going to feel differently about yourself. And when there's a circumstance or a situation or your specific person says something or does something, you're not going to create the same meaning around it anymore. Like you're just not going to make it mean anything bad about you, that you're not lovable, that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy. When I released the belief of always being second option and always being second choice in a relationship, that's when I got rid of the third party situations and uh, I haven't experienced my specific person being interested in another woman ever since. And if he's looking at other women, I don't feel like, oh my God, he's losing interest in me. Oh my God, he's going to leave me for this person. No, I don't feel threatened at all. And I don't make it mean anything about me. And I also don't feel like I need to compete. And when I release the belief of not being good enough, that's when I noticed that all of these people that were treating me like shit in my life and that just didn't respect me as much, didn't really show up for me when I needed them and kind of like were having these narcissistic traits, they just fell off the map. And after that, I haven't really attracted any narcissistic people into my life anymore. 